good morning YouTube. How you doing on this Monday? April, what is today? April 12th? It's a nice sunny day here in Arizona. And uh, I'm gonna ride to work today. You know, I usually try to break it up a little bit. Uh, I don't ride every day. But uh, today I'm gonna ride. Almost didn't. Uh, it's one of those Monday mornings. Anyway, YouTube, today's subject is gonna be tattoos. You know, I saw um, a motor vlogger's uh, video that came out today and um, the person had a very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, prominent tattoos on their body, like a sleeve kind of thing. And I thought, geez, you know, it seems to me that, you know, in um, the motorcycle culture, tattoos are kind of prevalent, you know what I mean? And uh, I guess, you know, maybe it's always been like that. I don't know. Uh, but I can tell you that uh, over the course of my life, tattoos have gone through transitions from, you know, being kind of uh, somewhat common. You know, a, a lot of guys uh, that were in the, you know, World War II, Korea, Vietnam, you know, tattoos uh, um, were quite common. And then sometime at the Vietnam War, it's like, you know, it, it seemed like tattoos kind of fell by the wayside a little bit. You know, people um, had certain preconceived notions about people who uh, had tattoos and whatnot. And today, it, it seems like it's more acceptable. Whoops. It seems like it's more acceptable hit the horn there instead of the turn signal. Um, on BMWs, uh, the turn signals are on each side and um, the left turn signal on this bike is right next to the horn switch. So, if you're not careful, um, you'll hit the horn instead of the turn signal. You know, on Japanese motorcycles, the turn signals are usually on one side and uh, they do both left and right signals. On a BMW, that is not the case. I think Harley Davidson is the same way. Anyway, I have to get gas here and after I get gas, uh, we'll continue on our discussion about uh, tattoos. Anyway, people, what were we talking about? Tattoos, that's right. So yeah, one time uh, tattoos fell out of favor a little bit. Um, and since then, I think they've made a comeback. Probably big time, even with people that aren't motorcyclists. Um, and uh, so here we are. So yeah, so I had seen a, a YouTuber out there with a big sleeve and whatnot, and I thought, geez, is, it, is tattoos common amongst my viewers and whatnot? Um, just wondered that uh, if uh, some of you out there could uh, tell me, do you have tattoos? Anyway, so I have five tattoos, not that you know it. Um, they're all above the elbow. Uh, the last tattoo I got was probably 32 years ago something like that, and I never got it uh, completely finished. It's a, a Viking with a battle ax on his horse in the clouds. It's on the back of my right arm. Um, so there's always that. Uh, I never got it finished, there's various reasons why. Um, I don't get into here, but I didn't get it finished, so that, that's the last tattoo I have. Um, I have one on my uh, right shoulder. I have another one on my right arm, actually two. Uh, and one's a cover up and then on my left arm I have another one. But again, you wouldn't necessarily know if I'm wearing 
a short sleeve shirt that's kind of on the longer side or a long sleeve shirt, you definitely wouldn't know. So I'll tell you a story about that. Um, years ago, uh, I guess in the late 80s, I had a job teaching environmental education and uh, we used to have a lot of overnight groups. So one night, you know, uh, after all the kids were to bed, well, the staff used to get together and have some adult cocktails and bullshit. And one night I came down with a, a cut-off sweatshirt on. And someone I worked with who I got along with. Many hours later. Hello, people. YouTube land. I'm going to try to pick up where I left off this morning. Um, so yeah, so I was working at this place that had overnight uh, groups with kids and uh, this one woman uh, I worked with saw me with a cutoff sweatshirt and um, saw all, well, most of my tats, you know, and uh, she was like uh, really um, taken aback and it kind of soured our relationship, you know, after that. N nothing that I did per se, but uh, you know, some people just have preconceived notions about tattoos and whatnot. And uh, you know, what can you do? Heck with them, uh, they'll have to get over it sometime. So there's that, you know, and uh, I don't know if I mentioned it before, but uh, when I first got my tattoo, um, you know, it was the only time my dad called me an asshole, you know, when they found out about it. So there's always that. Uh, and then when I first met my wife, probably on the second or third date, we're riding in, I think, her car at the time. And, uh, you know, you go through the questions, you try to find out what each other's values are and different things. And uh, she says to me, um, I don't like tattoos. And my retort was, well, I have five. And uh, there's that. So uh, we've been married, it'll be 27 years this uh, coming November. So I guess it didn't matter that much. Yeah, so there's always that. Um, you know, you never can tell. Um, personally, I don't care one way or the other. Uh, I have them, so it's like, what am I going to say? My only advice is don't get someone's name. Maybe not even mom and dad, you know? Or your kid, you never know what's going to happen. You might end up hating them. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, that, that would be my only advice to anyone getting a tattoo. Uh, outside of that, have at it, you know? It's your body, you do what the heck you want. So guys, anyway, it's Monday, you know, April 12th, end of day here. You know, my camera stopped working uh, because I ran out of space on the card. You know, I'm supposed to check those things. So anyway, here I go, I'm going home. And uh, you guys out there, you be you. Everybody else is taken, trust me. And I'll see you on the road. Uh, be careful out there, you know, in most parts of the country as spring is here. Bikes are out, cars don't uh, realize it yet maybe and uh, they don't notice yet. So uh, just be careful riding and uh, we'll see you and thanks a lot. And also please like, share and subscribe. Um, I'm at 43 now, uh, not that it matters, but you know, hey, every little bit helps, right? And uh, I'll see you on the road, man.